fated on Broadway, celebrated in Hollywood. But the life of Philip Seymour Hoffman ended in the seclusion of his New York apartment, where he died following an apparent drug overdose. His body was reportedly discovered with a needle in his arm, and what's believed to be heroin was also found at the scene. I'm a physicist, a theoretical philosopher, but above all, I am a man, just like you. Philip Seymour Hoffman was one of the great character actors of his generation, a versatile star as comfortable in art house films as he was in big budget Hollywood movies. What have you been doing? He was best known perhaps for playing the New York writer Truman Capote. His pitch perfect portrayal rewarded with an Oscar, one of a string of awards for his work on stage and screen. I didn't really know what, what was fascinating about his life that I would, you know, be interested in. And so when I read the script, I started to see what it was, you know. And, and then I read the biography and, and became semi-obsessed, you know, with the whole idea of the story. Philip Seymour Hoffman wasn't only one of the most highly respected actors, but one of the most loved. He'd suffered in the past from problems with drug addiction and spoke recently of falling off the wagon after 23 years of being clean. In the West End tonight at the London Critics Awards, shock and sadness at his passing. Extraordinary. Great actor. Great actor. Great member of the film and theatrical community. Extraordinary talent. He'll, he'll be held up as a sort of a an icon for, for, for character actors and, uh, everywhere because he sort of uh, he showed what was possible. He was always incredibly watchable and uh, it's very 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 sad. This was Philip Seymour Hoffman in the mid 1990s, starring alongside Jude Law and Matt Damon in the talented Mr. Ripley. People recognise his face, if not always his name.